Hey everyone, welcome back to the next episode of our Super Mega Baseball 4 journey. Playing the Moose, and we have now made it to our first offseason. I'm just going to start with a bunch of player re-signing, and our boy Sponge, switch-hitting power catcher, is going to be retiring. That's too bad. So, uh, let's work through this. I think um, with a catcher retiring, we want to re-sign our backup catcher. Ruby Green, liked her at first base, loyal and devoted. Sammy, I do want to start moving off of the scholarly players. So I'll just sign and maybe replace. Jeez, Doug out fives, 12.6 mil. He was just basically a backup infielder. So we got to choose between one of these, but he's loyal. I'll just resign him. Mario, I said his name a lot. Handley, you want 19.7, buddy? Yeah, you deserve a raise. Jeff Manzano, barely saw him, older, also scar scholarly, probably want to get rid of him. Um, outfielder, not really memorable, back up, let's re-sign at current, yeah, bye, see you later, thanks for coming out. Ricky Kwan, going to be aloof. He's another one that I'd just offer the current salary. And he's gone too, so I'm going to need to do some outfield replacement. Godfried Storm, I wasn't too impressed with him. I think he's probably to round out the roster. But uh, ended up getting into quite a bit of play. So let's re-sign him and then see what we can improve in the outfield. Probably need a legit center fielder. Lester Bronco. Great hitter for us. Juan Rojas. He's a little aloof, but... Hmm. Two 31-year-old right fielders. Yeah, I'm probably not taking Juan Rojas at anything other than the current salary. And he got it done. Okay. Danny Deals. I'll give you a little raise. You're the ace. Oh, this guy left on red, hey? Stooby two brick. Well, see you later, pal. Meow. Okay. And... Barry Ozone, who did get it done in the end as a fourth pitcher. I'll take that for 3.9. Uh, had the two swing men. At a pretty penny each. But we can resign them both at asking. Joseph Brosif, our top reliever. Rounding out the bullpen. Let's get them done. Okay, so we've re signed all the players and got to that. So, what exactly are we looking for here today? So, we need a catcher. I think we need a primo center fielder with. A backup outfielder. The secondary outfielder. And then we need sort of um, top of the rotation starter. All right. Four people. And then out of high level, I don't think having stacked the scholarly as the primary chemistry, even though that has the most traits, is really the most effective. I think it's the still the spirited traits 
and the crafty traits that have a lot more. So overall, we want to try to rejig the roster to get rid of scholarly players and add some crafty and maybe disciplined because I'm close to the disciplined level three. But it could also be argued for spirited if I end up collecting quite a few more spirited traits. So that's how we're going to proceed to the off season. Got some priorities. Let's see what we can get done. So first thing I like to do is pop over to the free agents. Sort by position in this case, and I'm looking for a catcher. I've also got 38 mil in budget to pick up these four players and rejig the roster. So let's see. Again, we're looking for crafty, spirited, disciplined catcher. Okay, Roman Rhodes looking not bad there. And I mark them to watch. Crafty. First pitch slayer. Backup position. It's worth watching. want to pick up a negative trait go down to here spirited and consistent worth watching not a hitting catcher but young two traits Billy Bronx, worth watching in his prime. Okay, so that was catcher, now center fielder. We would take a primo center fielder. Lamo Tamale, inside pitch, inside pitch off-speed hitter. Yeah, so that would argue for more disciplined players. But I can go crafty and disciplined. So I'm going to look, watch Blamo. Ricky Kwan asking for 19.4. Give me a break. Okay, Wade Hobbs, old center fielder. The only other guy I want to watch there. Okay. Harmonious, I'll watch. I guess. Elf steak? Not really. I mean, the yellow, yellow traits. So we'll have to see about that. Okay. That was center fielders. Now we also are looking for other outfielders. So let's see if I can jig that up. Okay, so from here to the top of the page are left fielders. Is there anyone who fits the bill? There's a nice one. Crafty with two green traits. Crafty with a yellow trait. Wait now. Crafty purple trait. I like the stat mix there. Unlog freely. Disciplined, a lot of speed. Yeah, that might be good too. Bringing some good traits. Green diligence. We'll also watch. Okay, we got a we got a deep pool of free agents. Should also check the right fielders. All right, Xander Birch up. Okay, 
Xander Birch is worth watching. I mean, this might be... Oh, look at those stats. Just have to watch them anyway. Hello, Roids. Okay, look at that power and contact. It's a good profile. Watcher. We really don't want scholarly folks. Although disciplined, bad stat profile, spirited. Hmm. Watch her. And that'll be it. Okay. So now we go over to our pitchers. And we need what I said was a top of the rotation pitcher. So this whole page is starters. Yeah, like a spirited with yellow trait. It's going to be worth watching. Crafty and consistent. That couple more here. Candy sweet. Not necessarily up the rotation though. Okay, we got options. We got options all over the field here. All right, so. Basically, we're going to go to the next round until we start to see the number of transactions pick up around the league. So, a couple transactions there right off the bat on the first round, but we're not going to get baited by that. Just keep moving through. All of our watch players are lowering their salaries. Lowering their asking salaries. Still no transactions. No transactions. With so many options, we can maybe push it a few extra rounds as well. But we might be able to do quite a bit of roster tinkering here now. So we're into round 10. Still don't have any transactions. One transaction in round 10. Round 11... Some people moving off the board. Doesn't look like anyone I was watching. Okay, now it looks like things are picking up. A lot more transactions going on now. Including one that I was watching. Signed for 10 mil. Okay, so it's probably time to jump in there here during round 13. All right, so really, I I'm I want to collect an all-star outfielder of some kind. I think that's Pryo. Okay, so all of these outfielders that I'm watching. Where do we go? Where do we go? So we want to turn this into a disciplined, crafty team, I think. Unless we go all in on spirited. Fielder. Log freely. It's a nice looking stat. 
that profile. If I go with Log Freely here, left field backup outfielder. I think that's a good call. Okay, log freely, you're mine. And we're replacing one of these. So we'll go Jules Bergman. Good, good replacement. Okay. Now, we also need center fielder. I didn't feel like any of these center fielders were where it's at. has a nice profile. Sander Birch might be a nice replacement for Ricky Kwan. Other than who's playing center field right now? Dolph Stake is expensive because of his secondary positions. that power in contact. Moni Jackson don't like that arm in center field. Wade Hobbs probably has the best profile, but also not a great arm. Maybe we go Dolph Steak. It's going to eat into my Yeah, we have some rejigging to do in our outfield. So we got two left fielders, two right fielders, two center fielders. We don't need this many outfielders. So I'm going to have to find the proper backup and then get rid of the other one, probably find another infielder, which I haven't really looked at. Let me just take a quick look at infielders. Not a bad little bench player there. Shortstop infield could play anywhere. Wow. He might be exactly the guy I'm looking for. In fact, I might want him in exchange for one of my outfielders now. 
Okay, so log freely. So Jeff Manzano. Or Godfried. Well, I am trying to get rid of scholarly, so I think Jeff Manzano is done. I'm gonna have surplus there after that deal. Good. Okay, so we need a catcher and a starting pitcher now. Position players, catchers at the top here. Crafty first pitch slayer. Disciplined, pretty nice profile. Billy Bronx, spirited. Decent profile. Not a great hitter. And challenged a bit, so. Kamiya doesn't have an arm or speed, but she's a good hitter. So maybe I better get more of a defensive catcher backup. And, you know, about six million to do it. Bronx here would be a good option. Or Vito Fuentes if I wanted to go spirited. Well, Roman Rhodes would put me over the discipline edge. Vito would bump up my spirit. Maybe get the young guy as the backup right now. Billy Bronx might be a good option too. Spirited. I think Vito. Sign Vito as a legit backup. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see we've got some got some work to do on our roster because we still need a starting pitcher, and we we then need to work on replacing scholarly players a little more than we have. And what do we want to get? I think we want to strive for discipline right now. So we're looking for a disciplined player. And we're going to be losing a scholarly one here, so that's good. Let's look at the pitchers. Possibly a disciplined pitcher. Okay, that's all I've got up here. There was no disciplined. So we're taking a crafty pitcher. So it's like a top of the rotation kind of play here. So I'm thinking this spirited with a spirited trait. Cecil Sawyer. Welcome to the team. Okay. So what do we need? We need a couple of disciplined players. We could do with two less scholarly. Which is really, they're all pitchers, except this 
second base. Yeah, so could really use a second base, second baseman. Okay, Alvaroy action. Take us over for Spirited. Landon Fair. Okay, so I think we go Elroy action. Have a legit second baseman. Instead of dug out vibes. Sammy Shigatani. We don't want that scholarly player. Third base, shortstop. We've got a backup infielder. First base. Sammy Shigatani. This is like a super utility person. Left field. Center field. Right field. Basically any infielder who is disciplined. Spirited for a discipline. Like 
Juan Rojas. Gotta go. Spirited for a disciplined outfielder. Disciplined and spirited. Can probably trade competitive for crafty. route here. This is like a super utility guy instead of Gottfried. Okay. It's pretty good balance there. So we've rejigged the team to be spirited yet disciplined. We've got a lot of disciplined traits. A lot of good traits, no bad traits. We've also got crafty traits and scholarly traits into a level two. We've got a couple of competitive guys to roll up, round up the roster. So I think that's pretty good for now. get through this off season so I still have a surplus of 12-3 and um, much like last game last season I'm going to start simulating for this season again 8 games at a time so this being our second season, we still want to build up those player funds just a bit. So let's go eight games at a time. And we're six and two to start out with plus 10 run differential. Young guy. Young guy. Lose consistent. Stealer. Yes, he got it. Gain elite pitch. Got it. Nailing these. Gain a negative trait and a new pitch. Okay, let's try it out. Gain the new pitch, but also added the negative trait. Alright, another eight games. We remain at the top of the division at 10 and 6. Put together a little bit of a team here. It's looking good. Okay, 
these are good options, just stacking the stats. My player development funds aren't building up though. So I'm still developing everyone. Oh, now he can lose that thing that he just got? No. So we're not gaining player development funds, but we're winning here, so. Nice, we continue to be at the top of the division. But it's a tight race, and 15 wins isn't that much right now. Keep working on Handley. stay on top. There's a win. Versus the Moon Stars. We get it done again. Up to 17. Ooh, a tight one nothing win for our 18th of the year. Continue to thump. We're on a streak here. Oh, the moose are looking good. We've assembled a team here, folks. Again, the freebooters on a back to back. And they just get pummeled again. Top of the league here 21 wins. Oh, and they even come back for that one. This team is to be contended with. Okay, let's finish up our player development here. Going into the playoffs, we're just going to do it again. Now, I had the funds already to basically get everything this whole season. So, I'm not at a time when I have to re really start building up the funds here. We've had some pretty decent development this year. Wow, another trait gained. Okay. Well, that was an off season. And our first season this year with Hanley Dexterra is having just another monster season. Mario Mustachio and Lester Broncos names showing up. Joseph Brosif wins out of the bullpen. Cecil Sawyer, strikeout machine. All right, it was a decent season. And in the next episode, we're going to start in on these playoffs again and playing at a higher ego. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you again.